Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic is about identifying terms related to a circle and drawing circles with different radii using a compass. Let us first define a circle. A circle is a round-shaped figure that has no corners or edges. In geometry, a circle can be defined as a closed two-dimensional curved shape. So, we cannot consider na yung circle is a polygon. Kahit na closed figure siya, pe, hindi siya polygon kasi nga ang polygon ay mga, may mga sides. So, ang circle, wala naman siyang corners at wala rin siyang edges and sides. So, hindi siya polygon. Another definition of a circle is, it is a basic two-dimensional shape which is measured in terms of its radius. The different parts of a circle are explained below in detail. A circle is the set of all points in a plane with the same distance from a certain point. This point is called the center of the circle. So, ipakita natin yung mga parts ng circle. Okay, referring to this figure, so meron tayong circle, and we have point A. So, ano kaya na ang tawag natin sa point A na to? So, A is the center and the name of the circle is circle A. So, itong A daw or yung point A, ito yung ating center. Yung center ng circle. And, pinapangalanan natin yung isang circle sa pamamagitan ng kanyang uh, center. So, this circle is called circle A. Okay, another parts ng circle. So, meron tayong line segment CE and line segment BG. So, ano kaya ang tawag natin sa mga line segment na ito? Okay, so we call them as chord. Chord is a line segment joining two points on the circle. So, in circle A, segment CE and line segment BG are chords. So, tatandaan nyo ang chord, ang end point niya or ang end point ng kanyang line segment ay nandoon sa circle. So, marami tayong makukuhang chords sa circle. Tatandaan niya, basta dapat ang end points niya ay nandoon lamang sa circle. Okay, let's have this line segment. So, ano napansin nyo sa line segment BF? So, kung nakita nyo, nag-pass through ang line segment BF sa center. So, ano ngayon ang tawag natin sa line segment na yan? Okay, we call that line segment as diameter. So, ang diameter is a chord that connects two points on the circle and it is the longest chord. So, bakit din ang diameter ay isang chord? Kasi, di ba, yung kanyang end points ay nasa circle, which is the definition of a chord. And ito rin ang pinakamahabang chord. So, yung diameter ang pinakamahabang chord. Every diameter is a chord. In circle A, segment BF is a diameter. The diameter goes straight across the circle through the center. So, dapat ang ating diameter ay magpa-pass through sa center ng circle natin. Okay, so we have another line segments, line segment AD and line seg segment AH. So, ano ngayon ang tawag natin sa mga line segment na ito? Okay, so we call them as radius. Radius is a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. So, as you can see, yung end points ng line segment A, uh, AD, ang isa ay nasa center which is point A at ang isa naman ay nasa point ng circle, a point on the circle. Okay, so kaya siya tinawag na radius. So tatandaan niyo lang ang radius, yung isang end point niya ay nasa center at yung isang end point niya naman ay nasa circle. So, the radius of the circle is one half of the diameter. So, tatandaan nyo rin na ang radius ng isang circle ay kalahati ng diameter. So, yung uh, line segment BF, which is the diameter natin, so, ang radius dyan ay yung line segment AB and yung line segment AF. So, ang dalawang radius ay bumubuo sa isang diameter. So, in circle A, segments AB, AF, AD, and AH are the radii. So, radii na ang tawag natin dahil ito ang plural form ng radius. 
So another term related to circle is the central angle. Central angle is an angle formed by two radii. So yung pag yung dalawang radius ang uh, nagform ng angle, ang tawag natin doon ay central angle. At make sure na ang napoform, na form nilang angle ay nasa loob ng ating center. Okay, so in circle A, yung angle BAD, ito yun, at yung angle HAF are central angles. Kasi nabuo yung angle dito sa ating center. So yung vertex niya is on the center. Kaya siya tinawag na central angle. Another angle na mapaform natin sa circle is what we call an inscribed, inscribed angle. Which is, it is an angle whose vertex is on the circle. Kung kanina, yung vertex ng central angle ay nasa center, eto naman, yung vertex ng inscribed angle ay nasa circle. So, in circle A, ang angle FBG is an inscribed angle kasi yung vertex na na-form niya ay dito sa point B. So, wala naman dito sa ating center na A or wala naman sa point A. So, yun yung kaibahan ng central angle sa inscribed angle. Okay, now we have the circumference. So, yung circumference is the distance once around the circle. So, ito yung distance around the circle. So, ito ay kinocompute natin using formula. So, ang formula ng circumference ng circle is C is equals to 2 pi r or pwede rin namang C is equals to pi d. Kasi diba, ang pi ang isang radius Uh, or ang dalawang radius ay may katumbas na isang diameter. So, we can use either of the two formulas para makompute natin yung circumference ng circle. Let's now proceed on how to draw a circle. Madali lang mag-drawing ng circle, pero hindi natin siya, hindi natin ma-perfect yung pagkakabilog niya. So, gagamit tayo ng instrument para makapag-drawing tayo ng perfect a circle. At ang tawag natin sa instrument na yun ay compass. So, a compass is an instrument used in drawing circles. So, ganito ang itsura ng compass. Okay, first step natin, we insert a sharp pencil into the holder of the compass. So, ganito. Kailangan nating maglagay ng pencil doon sa holder ng compass natin. Open the compass to the radius desired for your circle. The radius is the distance from the center point of the circle to the outer edge. So, ikaw na mag-decide kung gaano mo gusto kalaki yung radius na gagawin mo para sa iyong circle. Siyempre, mas maliit na radius, mas maliit na circle ang ma mabubuo mo. Pero mas malaking radius, mas malaking circle ang maidodrawin mo. Okay, third, place the compass point on a piece of paper where you would like the center point of the circle to be. So, ilalagay nyo yung compass point doon sa inyong magiging center. So, kung saan nyo gustong ilagay yung center nyo, doon nyo ilalagay yung inyong compass point. Place the point of the pencil on the paper. So, yung isang point naman ng pencil, nandun naman sa paper. And for the fifth step, rotate the compass to mark a circle on the paper with the pencil. Draw without lifting the point of the compass of the paper. So, ganito na. Paiikutin na natin yung ating pencil para makapag-drawing na tayo ng uh, perfect circle. Pero dapat hindi natin uh, gagalawin yung ating compass point doon sa ating pinaka-center para maayos natin ma-drawing yung ating circle. Okay, kung halimbawa wala tayong compass, meron pa tayong mga alternative ways para makapag-drawing tayo ng circle. So, ito. One is tracing a circle. So, pwede tayong mag-trace ng circle gamit ang iba't ibang objects na may, uh, na may bilog kang makikita na makakapag-trace tayo ng bilog. Next naman is using a string. Ito. Gamit ang string, yung isang kamay mo nandun sa may center tapos yung lapis nakatali dun siya sa uh, yung string nakatali dun sa lapis dun pa iikutin mo siya para ka na rin uh, gumamit ang compass 
Then, using a protractor. So, since ang protractor kalahati ng bilog, pwede tayong gumamit ng protractor. And last, using a pin. So, same din siya ng paggamit ng compass. Yung pin, ipipin mo dun sa pinaka-center mo. Then, yung la uh, attach natin yung string dun sa lapis. Then, paikutin mo yung lapis para makabuo ka ng isang bilog. Let's have this activity. The figure at the right is a circle with center at M. So, yung pinaka-center natin is M. So, this is circle M. Name the following. So, name natin yung center. Siyempre, ang center natin dyan is yung point M. Okay, so we have point M as the center. Then, name naman tayo ng 4 radii or radii. So, ang 4 radii natin dito is itong line segment MI. Diba ang radii is yung isang endpoint na nasa center at yung isang endpoint na ay nasa circle. Yung line segment MA, line segment MT, at yung line segment MH. So, these are the four radii. Okay, next, name the diameter. So, ang diameter dapat ay nag-pass through the center. So, yung endpoint niya ay nasa circle, pero dapat yung line niya ay magpa-pass through doon sa center. So, alin dia ang line segment? Siyempre, itong line segment ay H. So, yan yung ating diameter. Then, magpangalan tayo ng at least two central angles. So, ano ba yung central angles? Dapat yung kanyang vertex ay nasa center. So, ang ating central angle dito ay yung angle IMA at angle TMH or HMT. So, yun yung ating mga central angles. Okay, number 5, in-name naman natin yung inscribed angle. So, pag sinabing inscribed angle, kailangan yung vertex niya ay nasa circle. Wala siya sa center. So, dito, ang ating inscribed angle na nabuo ay yung angle HIE. Yung vertex niya ay nasa I. Which is yung point ay nasa circle. Then, magbigay tayo ng dalawang chords. Dapat yung chords natin ay nasa ang endpoints niya ay nasa circle. So, wala siya. Hindi siya kailangang mag-pass through sa center. So, ang dalawang chords dito ay yung line segment IE at yung line segment CT. Let's have another activity wherein we're going to tell whether the following statement is true or false. So, let's have the first statement. The diameter of the circle is twice the length of the radius. So, the answer here is true. Dahil ang diameter ay twice the radius. Next, the longest chord in a circle is the diameter. Tama ba or mali? So, the answer here is also true. At tatandaan ang diameter ang pinakamahabang chord. Next, if a radius measures 12 cm, then the measures of the diameter is 6 cm. So, the answer here is false. Kasi, kung ang radius ay 12 cm, dapat ang ating diameter or sukat ng ating diameter ay twice uh, twice the radius. So, dapat multiply natin to sa 2. 12 times 2 is 24. So, ang diameter natin dapat is 24 cm not 6 cm. Next, number 4, the length of every chord in a circle is always greater than the length of a radius. So, the answer here is false. Hindi naman laging mas malaki ang chord kumpara sa, sa length ng radius. May time din naman na mas malaki ang measurement or yung haba ng radius kumpara sa haba ng chord. Basta ang chord, tatandaan nyo, ang endpoints niya ay laging nasa circle. Next, number 5. The vertex of the central angle is the center of the circle. So, the answer here is true. So, tatandaan nyo, kaya nga siya central angle, dapat ang vertex niya ay nasa center ng circle. Next, number 6. The vertex of an inscribed angle is any point inside the circle. So, the answer here is false. Dapat, ang vertex ng inscribed angle is any point on the circle, hindi siya inside the circle. 
Okay, next number 7, we can draw circles with different sizes by but the same center. So, ang answer natin dito is true. So, pwede naman tayo mag-drawing ng iba't ibang laki ng circle, pero isa lang yung kanyang center. Kasi nakadepende naman ang laki ng isang circle sa measurement ng kanyang radius. Okay, align and a circle can intersect in just one point. So, the answer here is true. So, ang tawag natin dun sa point kung saan nag-intersect ang line tsaka circle ay point of tangency. So, ang tawag naman natin dun sa line na nag-intersect doon sa circle ay tangent. So, another additional information lang natin yan. Next, number 9. Every diameter intersects the circle in exactly two points. So, ang sagot natin dito ay false. So, hindi naman kasi mag intersect ang diameter doon sa circle eh. Diba? Dadaan lang siya doon sa center. So, yung diameter, dumadaan lang siya sa center. Number 10, a circle is labeled by its center point. So, ang sagot natin dito is true. So, pinapangalanan natin ang circle sa pamamagitan ng kanyang center point. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.